Hi guys, in this video I will compare image quality of three Canon cameras, the new 6D Mark II, 6D Original and Crop Sensor 80D. I think it will be very interesting especially given the price points of these cameras. In normal conditions and by that I mean well exposed lower ISO values there is surprisingly little difference. When viewed side by side differences are extremely hard to spot. It might not be visible over YouTube, but the original 6D has slightly different color hue, a bit more magenta color cast and overall slightly stronger saturation by default. Here is another example and once again if this was a blind test very few people would notice any difference. By the way, all images shown in this video are from RAW files and all have identical settings applied in Adobe Camera RAW. Thanks to the highest number of megapixels, 6D Mark II can deliver more detail than the other two cameras. It is not drastic, but for heavy crop it will be visible. Let's take a look at high ISO. ATD with its crop sensor is obviously inferior here. To my eyes ISO 3200 looks almost like ISO 12800 on full frame. So that's about two stops of advantage for a bigger sensor. What surprised me is the fact 6D and 6D Mark II are almost identical. In fact, to my eyes old 6D might even be a tiny bit better. Look at the weaker yellow color of 6D Mark II and also a slight magenta tint in the dark area between two books at ISO 25600. There is a difference in resolution, 26 versus 20 megapixels, so let's take a look what happens when I resize 6D Mark II to match lower 6D resolution. Well, that's interesting. Now, both of them seem to have identical noise pattern, but once again Mark II is weaker in colors. And here is the other way around. 6D is now upsampled to 26 megapixels. Noise pattern looks the same to me, but colors are still visibly worse on the new model. And even more, I don't see any difference in detail rendering. It appears as though extra megapixels on 6D Mark II don't matter for high ISO photos. Now let's take a look at dynamic range at ISO 100. I will start with the non-labeled images, I want to see how surprised you will be. I expose this image in a way the lampshade will not be blown out, so there is a quite a lot of dark areas on the books. A bit of identical adjustments on images and this is what I got. Well, this is interesting. 1 and 3 are really desaturated. 4 is better, but image number 2 looks closest to what this scene looks like in real life. For your information, there is a yellow light bulb in this lamp and it really looks vivid in real life. Let's take a look at 100% crops in dark areas on the right. Number 3 is clearly the best, almost no noise after shadow recovery. Number 2 is also ok but not ideal, while 1 and 4 don't look nice with all that noise. So what are we looking at? The best image, the one with number 3 is from ATD. Image top right is 6D classic. Oh dear, that can only mean 6D Mark II which is top left is a bad performer in shadow recovery, even worse than the model it replaces. Image on the bottom right is from 40D. Here is how it looks like when pushed to the absolute limit with 5 exposure stops lifting in post process. Only ATD is what one might call usable, the rest is recycling bin material. Even when I remove that magenta cast it is no better, noise and bending are terrible. These are 100% crops from the same images. Here is a bit more of color fidelity analysis. Letters on Moby Dick book are bright red in real life, yet 6D Mark II renders them quite desaturated. At low ISO images can be boosted in saturation without any overall penalty to match 6D classic. What I don't like about this is the fact that we have an extra post processing step, global color balance can be put off and does not apply for high ISO values. In this example 6D Mark II simply doesn't have enough color information to be recovered. No matter how much I push saturation, there is nothing to be saturated. Border between colors on this graffiti is significantly better defined on 6D Classic. Notice how 6D Classic has a clear boundary where red paint ends and the middle one begins which is some shade of dark green. On 6D Mark II image it looks like it is all of the same color just with different brightness. 
Finally, all of this might or might not be visible in regular daily use, but the more you push your camera to the limit, the more visible it will be. So what does all of this tell us? For me, 6D Classic is superior camera in this comparison. Best colors, best low light, solid but not great dynamic range. ATD is best in low ISO dynamic range. If you shoot mostly at low ISO values below, let's say, ISO 1600, ATD might just be the best choice. 60 Mark II costs almost twice as ATD, and while it is clearly superior in low light, cannot match ATD in shadow recovery and has worse color rendering than the 6D Classic. I am disappointed. 5 years later and 6D Mark II not only brings no image quality improvement, but is even a bit worse than the first model. Just keep in mind this comparison is of image quality only. As for camera features like dual pixel, articulated LCD, time lapse and various other features, that is material for another video.